know what today is? It's July 1st, and that means that I am officially moving into my apartment. Anyway, I am going to go and pick up one of those roller cart thingies at the lobby, put all my stuff on it, call an Uber, and we're gonna get going. First walk in through here and then I have this very long hallway. All my stuff is here, so I'll probably put some sort of like shoe rack or mirror here eventually. We got lots of storage all up and down. And then let's check out the bathroom. The bathroom is definitely a little excessive for one person. Um, we have like this heated towel rack, rain shower, and then these fancy mirrors that I think turn on. Oh, hey. What is this? Oh. And then the main living area. So this is the kitchen. I like that the fridge is hidden. I don't know how to, oh, how do you open this? Oh. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. We got a freezer down here, so we have some cool storage under here for spices, oils, and everything. Nice clean electric stove. I haven't used one of these in a while. I'm used to using gas, so we'll see how that goes, but at least it'll be easier to clean. There's this little baby oven. It's like an easy bake. I think this is also supposed to work as a microwave too, but my landlord said it doesn't work very well. And then in here, we have the prime feature. Stacked washer and dryer. Okay, I need to figure out Wi-Fi situation as well. Um, he also left me his TV and Sono soundbar and these lamps, um, his bed frame because it was gonna be a pain to move out. And I have my Tuft & Needle box mattress here. He also left me his desk and his chair and bike rack, TV mount. I might cover that though. I don't know if I need two TVs. Um, but this was custom built for the apartment. And then we have this fancy couch that can transform into a two-person sleeper sofa. And it has lots of cool features like this. The little headboard thingies come back and forth. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is my, my place. Date. I just went to Target. I carried home all of this all the way back to my apartment. I didn't know you could be sweating in rain, but apparently you can. So I just picked up a pillow, a temporary kind of quilt lightweight summer blanket that I'm probably going to use until I get real bedding, and then I will repurpose it as guest bedding for the couch when people visit. Got a towel bath rug and an extra lamp because it's a little dim in here, a little sad. So I'm going to use this until I get some real lighting fixtures. It was 10 bucks. Got to get a light bulb for it, but pretty cheap. Most of these things are really just temporary. Just because I know if I don't get the basics right now, I'm going to end up overspending on real furniture way too soon because I'm impatient. So I think just Kind of putting down a few of the essentials now will give me some time to really find things that I want here permanently. Whoa, this is what happens when you're in 
humidity and thunderstorm. Anyway, Emily is in town. I'm gonna go meet her right now. She just finished work. I think we're gonna go out in West Village, probably hit up a cocktail bar. She has a 9 a.m. flight tomorrow, so I don't know how that's gonna go, but I'm gonna fix this situation right now, try and look presentable, and go meet her. <laughs> As you can see from my outfit, I'm getting ready to go check out a Muay Thai gym and I'm gonna go get a nice pad session in and then go meet up with Twee for lunch. <laughs> the yuzu cream puff yes and then taro my oh they look so pretty so taro munchie balls and a peach sencha with little gold flakes on top and a vietnamese cold brew because i'm vietnamese that makes sense <laughs> it tracks <laughs> cheers how is it oh. <laughs> baby oh. Mm. Oh, so good. Mm, so good. Mm, so fresh. We are going to attempt to fix this a bit today. I uh, will be going to do some returns and then heading over to this poster store that is a couple blocks from me and I'm gonna try and get some artwork so that I can start filling up these very bare, empty, sad walls. And then I think I might try and head to Chinatown for lunch. There's a good place that's pretty cheap. They sell these dumplings and noodles. I actually got one of those old lady grocery carts that I can carry around with me now. So if I wanna go grocery shopping there, I can and not have to carry home bags and bags of produce and heavy things. 20 minutes back to my apartment, so that's great. Other than that, I am going to be taking a Muay Thai class at Square Circle just down the block and that's it. I think that's gonna be my day. I got this on Amazon Basics. It was maybe like $30, so very reasonable. Also, I just got these, the Air Force One Pixels. Take them off. They have this really cool branding on the tongue and on the back, and they also come with kind of this glitch effect on the bottom sole. I do have the Air Force One Sage Lowe's, so the female, versions of these shoes and I've had them for maybe like three or four years now. They are still really comfortable but some of the backing is starting to come off in it and I kind of just wanted something new and I thought these were really cool. They had cool details. Also going to be taking these lovelies out for their first day. This was 
about 100 pounds. Note to self, next time you want to install large pieces of furniture, recruit a friend. getting multiple packages a day the last two weeks to try and furnish my apartment. Not even just furniture, but like pans, toilet paper, just like random stuff that you need around a house. And my hallway has been looking like this lately because I procrastinate and then I suddenly have 12 boxes that I need to open. So let's open some packages. I ordered some bar stools from Home Depot. They weren't that bad of a price. I think they were like $50 each. They were half off. And I'm gonna use these up on my counter right here so that I have a place to eat. So the seats have this really nice light wood grain with like a little bit of a dip to them. And then the actual bar is white. I think this will match with the apartment, which is so far been very like white and airy, but wanted some more natural textures to kind of soften it up since it's a little too modern for my taste. Screwed in and ready to go. They're a little bit tall. I think for working, it would be kind of difficult, but you know what, it's okay. Because as I like to say, form over function. Next up. We have this beautiful Japanese print from Half Sumo of a warrior. It is a limited edition print with signature on the bottom, which is cool. Probably gonna go somewhere up on this wall once I have some more prints and can kind of start envisioning how things are going to lay out. Let's take a look in this giant Target box. Uh got a pot to boil ramen in specifically. Finally got some cutting boards and a strainer because I didn't realize I needed these things until I was trying to cook meals and I didn't have them. Also important, furnishing a house is so hard. And then I won't go through too much of the rest of this stuff, but I did get a really cool Spirited Away poster that I'm going to hang soon. I got a stick vacuum to clean the floors. This was like $150, so pretty cheap. I have my TV console, which weighs like 200 pounds. I could not get this up into my room. It took me so much energy just to get it from the hallway two feet away into here. It's Saturday, welcome to the weekend. I am about to go meet my friend Andrea, who's in town for a couple weeks. We're gonna go get lunch over in East Village. I might try and stop to shop for some plants on the way back. And I am also going to unravel this rug that just arrived. So apartment slowly coming together. <laughs> has been accomplished. I'm very tired. And this is what everything looks like so far. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Yeah, you're in the vlog, okay. I don't know, I think you're too nervous to do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Basically, here's oh, my cool, fridge. Oh, cool, very cool. Basically, there's just nothing oh, in there. Oh, yeah, that's hey. a wrapper fridge right there. That's great. Is my coffee great. Maker. The coffee maker as well was second hand, which is great. Everything's second hand. I love the second hand. I guess show the MPV the, the view. Show the view. Show the viewers at home. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's casual. That. That's and then Manhattan. Yeah. Oh, leaners. Yeah. So the bedroom is kind of small, but I feel like. Um, uh, this is like the I size of people's studios. <laughs>